Victoria's opposition leader has taken a swipe at the Premier, saying he wants to remove him from his job in November. Matthew Guy's statement came as he joined calls for an extension to isolation payments. Victorian political reporter Simon Love has the details. Victoria has joined the call from other states for isolation payments to continue as the national COVID wave persists. Premier Daniel Andrews is expected to return from leave on Monday in time for the emergency National Cabinet meeting to be convened by Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. But Mr Andrews' opponent, Matthew Guy, is supporting an extension of isolation payments. Yes, for those in, in exceptional circumstances that has been mentioned this morning, yes I have, yes I would. Our government has introduced uh, nation-leading reform around the sick pay guarantee where workers in particular industries, if they're casual or insecure workers, can access um, sick pay through that scheme. Uh, but obviously the broader issues around um, support for anyone in, in required to be isolating is a matter for uh, National Cabinet to discuss next week. But he's also criticising the previous approach by the Victorian Government at the National Cabinet table. The Liberals are clearly signposting the upcoming state election. I'm going to dictate to him how to do his job. In November I want to remove him from it and put in a new approach. The Government admits a data breach occurred relating to those who were in the state's hotel quarantine program two years ago. Freedom of information documents obtained by the state opposition show the potential exposure of information about travellers and staff in the COVID-19 hotel quarantine program, including names, contact numbers, dates of birth, addresses and, in some cases, passport numbers. Victorians have got every right to know where their data is being used and where it's been leaked, and particularly if any of it's been abused by the people who have been accessing it. The government says, oh, well, it's only low level. That's not for them to make. That's not a decision of theirs. When it's your data, you should know. The government says the breach occurred because a staff member in the Department of Education was seconded to the hotel quarantine program when public servants from many agencies were asked to work for the program. Fake invoices were then issued to Victorian schools. The government stresses there's no evidence that information was accessed or downloaded and no evidence that those fake invoices were paid. Simon Love, Sky News, Melbourne.